All right, one of two things is happening. Either I'm getting soft in my old age, or Hi-Fi Min has improved everything in their whole lineup immensely and not raised any of the prices. So that's probably what's happening. Sundara 2021, I think it was 2020 or 2021, I forget. But uh, there's the new one. I actually took my old one off the wall, which I love. Like Sundara was like a benchmark headphone and I sold it in the yard sale which happened on my Patreon and subscribe store from the 1st to the 10th of every month, by the way. If you want to buy any of my old stuff or any of the new stuff that I'm like, I don't have room for this, I'm going to sell it, check out the Patreon and subscribe star, link in the description. Now, these, I don't know who sent them to me. I may have just bought them. I just, I may have bought them. Uh, either way, I'll link to the Lin Soul and Amazon because they're cheap. This is the cheapest hi-fi. I'm pretty sure this is the cheapest... Legit hi fi mean you can get. It's like a hundred and it's either 150 or 160, depending on what time of day you're checking. And they're planar, detachable cable. We'll talk about the cable. We'll get to the fucking cable. We'll get to the cable. Um, and someone had asked me a while back to compare them against the 4XXs because these were the cheapest hi fi you could get. And you had to get them from Drop. And uh, I recommend them a lot. And they're a little bit of a darker headphone, a lot of decent low end. And I like these headphones. And these are better than those now. And available in multiple places. And uh, I want to argue that I still like the old school hi in headband. This thing. This is the reminiscent one of the old 400. Like the old 400. Like the for, the beginning of this channel, I had the 400s with this, and then this thing used to crack, and everyone complained, and it has to slide up and down. But I don't know, something the way it fits the top of your head, it doesn't look like a big, chonky child's toy, which, this is that new look they went with. I forget what the first headphone, the Diva, was the first one that had like this, just massive, and it's very well padded, and it, it, it eliminates like a hinge, because it just pivots inside of that, but that doesn't feel quite right, but it's it, less moving parts. And, you know, the, the clamp stays pretty good. and They are very comfortable. Uh, take your pick on which one do you think looks better. Discuss that in the comments below. But the cups themselves haven't changed. The pads have gotten a little bit thicker. Uh, probably 20% thicker. Either that or these are just old. These 4XXs, by the way, used to live in my trunk of my car. These are my, like, all right, I bought them. I got them. I used them. I love them. I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag, keep them in the trunk in case I need emergency headphones. And th they haven't been in there for a while. I just, you know, KPH30Is exist. Why would you put anything else? But comparing them here, I got the, the Burson and the Singzer. Um, I played the, specifically the start of a song. Where it was like, it was a Richard Cheese song where you put in the ice in the glass, pouring it, opening a bottle. It was like sound effects. And I did it with this and I went, wow, that sounds fucking immersive and real. And then I did them with the 4XXs and I went... I hear the same sounds, placement is entirely different, and it sounds mildly artificial. So, the thing that the new ones have, and I'm sure that this is something that happened to the Sundaras, and I just didn't find a little piece of paper, but this came in the box, which the box is nothing special. Um, but it talks about Stealth Magnet's technology. Not Stealth Magnet technology, which would make audible sense, but Stealth Magnet's technology. Thank you for choosing the blah 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 blah. We aim to be acoustically transparent, dramatically reducing the diffraction turbulence with degrades the integrity of the sound waves. The result is um, distortion yielding a pure a harmonic sound that's audibly so. So basically what I can tell from this little card is when you build a planar, you have rows of magnets. And then there's slots between the rows of magnets, and that's where the air gets out to make the sound. And from, from this description, it looks like they just rounded the edges of the magnets. And that apparently is enough because... When you talk about a phasered or non-phasered headphone, basically you have the square magnets, which is what magnets come in squares or, or rectangles, and then they would put like a like a wing tip, like a pointed wing tip, on them to straighten the air out as it goes past. So Ivermans just said, uh, "Fuck, why don't we just make a rounded edge on the magnet and just do that?" And they did. And if that's all they've changed, then it's a fucking breakthrough because these sound remarkably clear. Just like the 2020 Hi-Fi Min Sundaras, which are 350, by the way, and these are 150. So I, I keep looking at them and going, 
Are those two hundred dollars better than the fucking? Because the four the, the, XXs, great headphone, dark, laid back, decent low end. These great headphone, not quite as dark, definitely not as laid back. Although you could argue what the definition of laid back is, and the bass still kicks my ass more than the Sundara does. Sundara's bass is like it's not supposed to be there because it's supposed to be the big airy openness, and that's more like an accuracy thing. Where this. For 150 bucks, oh, I, I'm trying to think. I, oh, I can't play a different song. I'm maxed out here. So I'm on the Sneakers OST. If you've never seen the movie Sneakers, I would, uh, I would, I would put that on your list. It's it's the quietest. You don't even see the waveform. It's the quietest soundtrack I've ever had, like consistently. And it means you could nail every amplifier to listen to it. That's at full tilt and the things are on high gain. So there's that. But yeah, it, like you put them on and it, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little test, I didn't do a test before, hold on. There's on here, uh, mute. Yeah, a little bit, they're real close as far as like what they're blocking out. So there's not much more dampening behind the driver. Cause when you dampen the driver, that's how you usually get low end out of it. You put more shit behind it and it keeps the low end in. But I could hear straight through these. So they're just, they're open. They sound like the Sundars. They sound open as the Sundars. Yet, you put on music, and I'm going to lower the, actually lower all these things down. Shuffle something with a... Uh... Yeah, these rock, ooh. Devil Man Cryberry. I would never, never have guessed that these are a hundred dollar headphone. If you just handed me new hyphens, like here's new hyphens, here, here's the one, here are these, here's some. Don't tell me what they are, just put them on my head. And I would have heard these and gone, oh, what are these, the new 560s? Which are like a three, four hundred dollar set of headphones? Because they've improved, mm, stop blinking. They've improved wholly the sound by just changing the magnet shape. Uh, give or take this, the, the new headband and the thing, that's up to you, but they just cleared it up. It, it, it's why it's why the Anandas and the Sundaras and now the 400 SEs, everything they've made recently, every new revision is just a full league better than the previous ones. That that's technology for you, I guess. So, are these a, a buy? Yeah. I want my first headphone. I want my first planar Zeos. What do you recommend? A lot of times people come to me and be like, well, should I get the Fost XT 50RP? Or should I get, oh, what's the other like popular cheap planar, like the monoprice ones, like the M1060C or something? No, buy these. Buy these. But when you buy these, you're going to have to buy them with a new cable. Because here's the 4XX and here's the 4XX cable. And I was okay with it. I kept it with it. It's, it's a vinyl cable. Right angle, three and a half millimeter. It's, it's rather soft and flexible. I, I'm okay with that. It attaches to two and a half millimeter. This also detaches, but to three and a half millimeter, which is different. And the wire itself is an enigma of failure. So I'm love, I love these headphones. I, $150, absolutely fucking worth it. Get prepared to spend $200 because you're going to have to buy a $50, uh, $50 fucking cable. Not because it's not balanced and not because this is a weird shape, which is a very weird. I kind of like the shape of this. It's got this little like flared bit on the end that you can grab and yank it out of things. And it's got a really massive like strain relief. But that doesn't matter when the wire itself is a wire tie. It's the worst, stiffest, like we could just get modern art on this bitch. It's just, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? You know how long it took me to straighten this out? It's 10 seconds, because all I have to do is go and bend it, physically unbend these solid, they're solid core, are they solid core? It's four wires down. It's, it, it looks like it wants to be straight, but it can't be. And then it like where, where, the, where the weave comes apart, like you can just push it, and you can make like a little, little, little indicators. Every Hi tubers, how you feeling? And yeah, we could do that every every few inches. You can make like, you could push this together and then you could add like a marble so that it looks like that. Oh, it's jewelry now. 
What the fuck is this cable? So you pull it straight with its solidness, and then it is a solid straight cable. So I'll put the adapter back on it because it needs a quarter inch adapter. Plug it into the thing. It's just... And then... What are you doing? Don't pee on the floor again. She's feeling sick. She's a little lady. Um, well, she's not feeling sick. She's just having bathroom problems, which we'll all get there eventually. We'll all get there. Stop drinking that coffee. Um, so that comes up to this split where they've not done jack shit. They've literally just went, okay, we weaved it, and then we just quit. We just fucking, you know, usually there's something here, like a little barrel. The, um, nah. Just, just stop weaving four and just start twisting two. And it, it, what the fuck is this half? Like, if you put li even a little piece of heat shrink right there, would have maybe not complained as much. And then it, it could have just been like, mm, but no, it just, because it didn't, it just fucking, like this one could just pull out sideways, but a big finger fall through there. What the fuck is this cable? And the, the, the little ones, you know, they'll do the bend thing too. It, and I feel like if it, if it bends and you bend it back and it bends and you bend it back and you bend and it bends, it, it's going to break. Like you get four of those. It's a wire, it's a bread wire tie. It's made out of bread wire ties. And the fucked up thing is, I know this is what's inside, like the other hyphen cables, like the Ananda cable that I complained about. I think it's just this inside a rubber coating. That's what the Ananda cable is. It's literally this weird, janky bullshit inside a surgical clear tube. So Hyphamin, um, once again, you take any amount of praise that I could build up, but people are like, oh, Zio's just shilling another product. Yeah, oh, if it sounds good, I will tell you it sounds good, and I'll tell you you should go out and buy it. But then you have to question, well, then why isn't Zio's ignoring the worst fucking cable of the last two years. I'm pretty sure this is the one. This is the one. The fact that the fact that it's like, all right, look, it acts kind of like a cable. Look, it, it, it bent down. But now that's permanent. That's in there until you until you bend it back, and you just fuck it. And then it just, oh, look, that's fine. It's just like a, there's just a bend in it now forever. Like, God forbid you get this caught on something. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this, high fi man? For fuck's sake, you you are in China. You know what I know is made in China? Everything. Walk around the town you're in and knock on doors. Someone's making headphone cables better than you are. Because every IEM I've ever gotten is made in China. Well, no, that's not true. There's a couple, there's a, there's a handful of them. But every IEM has a better fucking cable than you're producing. What the fuck are you doing? Okay. Off the cable now for a second, back to the sound. Um, it's lovely, lovely, it's lovely. It's, it's, it really is an impressive amount of go. Um, I'll link to every cable manufacturer. Periapt, Apost now has it, Heart Audio Cables, um, there's, uh, the, the Jerry the Cable Guy, there's a couple ones that like you can go out and just buy. I'll even try to find, I'm sure I can find a three and a half millimeter to, to, to quarter inch, or three millimeter to three and a half millimeter, or three and a half millimeter balance. Any fucking cable on the Amazon, I'll link that too. Because this is just, it's working. It just, I, well, as soon as you get past it, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't test these with this for like the whole day. It's so much clearer. It's so much clearer than it's, the because there has been so many 400s. There was a 400 eyes, the 400 S, the 400 regular down now there's the sc was there another 400 there might have been another like fourth 400 in the in the lineup at some point i are no i don't know i don't know but this is the best revision of all of them and if they're just going to keep doing this sort of improvement so i don't know what they do next time because now we've got sandaras laid out ananda fucking great these amazing what do we do next because the next thing they need to do is they fix the cable the pads, which are not memory foam, and that's a lot. I've noticed that, and I've, I've said it before. A lot of manufacturers are getting away from the memory foam pads, and it's an improvement. Fucking Odyssey with their LCD Xs stopped using memory foam, and it's a sound improvement. In fact, I got an extra set of pads, and I put it on an old set of LCD Xs that actually improved their sound. But, but So I guess you're going to have to just accept the fact that they may not be as immensely comfortable as like you would with memory foam. 
and just be like, oh, well, the sound improvement is there because the density of the foam matters and it's very hard to get breathable memory foam. That's a thing. So the pads are fine. Big, thick, fine. They're slightly angled thinner in the front. They do just pop off, but I'm not, I'm not fully prone to fuck. All right, fine. I'll... Did I lie to you? No, they don't come off. They at least twist off. I thought they just popped off. There it is. No, it's just me being bad. It means it's actually assembled properly. There you go. There's these little tabs, and they just pop those in around it. And they got holes through here, so the pads are replaceable. Oh my God, is that? Is there seriously nothing covering the magnet? Like no. Have I never taken the pads off this? Hold, hold, please. Hold, please. Is that why it's so hard to take? Yeah, there's nothing. I don't think that's a manufacturing mistake. They just literally, there you go. Those are the bar magnets there with the rounded edges, which are barely rounded, by the way. They don't, they're, they're a little bit more exaggerated in this. Is that how they're making it so clear? They're just, there's nothing. There's literally nothing in the way of that. Um, I highly recommend you don't take your pads off unless you know what the fuck you're doing. That is now that is now the the thing because the 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 lines you see running there are the electro. That's the actual membrane. You poke that, you bend it, you stretch it. You've ruined your headphone. It'll it'll vibrate against the magnets. Planers are very difficult to get right, and you can see the plastic they've they've done and the glue. I don't even want to put my hands in here. So yeah, this with the screen that means you can't even change pads if this if the pad doesn't have. At least a protective screen, because there's nothing stopping you from messing up real bad. But you know what this is? This is the Porsche GT3 of headphones. Th they would normally charge you more and then take out equipment. Like, you don't get an enamel badge, you got a sticker. Oh, you want a radio? Hell no, you don't. You want higher performance. So we take out the radio, charge more. So what Hyphen has done is literally take out everything in the way of the driver. I, I kind of want to pop the back out. I know the back pops out with a... um. There's a ring here. Hold on. All right. I, I shouldn't be doing this while I'm recording the review. I should have done this beforehand, but they didn't. Oh, there you go. So here's the back, which is just a piece of metal with a very thin open fabric on it. So that's that's it. They put a little lining of felt in there. Oh, i got to be careful. I, I'm, I'm concerned now. There's your wires. Actually, two extra there. It just goes loop, loop. That's why these sound so good. You get front and rear magnets and nothing. Literally this fabric and whatever bit of uh, damping you get from this fabric and this metal. So let's see. I'm going to... I'm gonna. Yeah, just put your fingernails underneath this. I'm sure, I probably shouldn't be showing people how to avoid their warranties. But um, this is Z-Reviews, which is what we do here. Zeos avoids all warranties. This little ring comes out and then just boop. Boop. Okay, so let's put the pad back on. Because now there may be less bait. Actually, we're side. It's, oh, L and R are inside these giant things. It's a very strange L and R. It's very, it's very 90s. Where's my thin part? There's thin. And there's very specific spots these have to go. Holy shit. And usually I would like dig my fingers in there, but I don't think I want to. I might crack a magnet. Like that's nerve wracking. All right, put this back together. Yeah, I don't pull apart every headphone before I review it. I mean, if I think I might find something interesting, but I was just like, all right, hi, man. I've taken apart a million hi, man. I don't have to do it. And now here we are. So, all right, those are back together. Give me the shitty fucking shit wire back, you shit fucks. They don't even change the color. It's still green in both of them. Like, what's the point of having a strain relief if you could bend it and have it stay in that position? That's That's so dumb. Do that for both of them. There you go. First test of extremely open and insanely fragile. Don't do this ever. Fucking. Uh, I put them. In, I put the wires in backwards. Fixing it. Experimentation on Z review. See, and you people were gonna leave. Corn uh, is not the best song. Let me go back a couple. I think we're losing low end. Yep, 
Yeah, we're definitely losing low end. So not really a benefit to take that off. You know, sometimes you oh, let it open, but the back pressure is a thing on cars and back pressure is a thing on headphones. So I'm going to put this all back together, but that's, there's your driver. It's a big one. They shove it in there and it's done. Um, I want to thank myself for doing this review. Put that back. Put the ring back. The ring should just... I don't know if there's holes for the ring to pop into. I should just probably check that. Oh, yeah, there is. All right. So at least I know where they are now. But uh, thank you for stopping by. Wallpaper available in the description. Um, there should be a sound demo on the sound demo channel, which exists, until it doesn't. Because uh, I keep getting emails from basically copyright YouTube being like, hey, um, yeah, you know this thing? Well, no one can see it anymore. And I'm like, oh, good. That's good. That's nice. It's nice for you to tell me that. So if there are no sound demos, um, I don't know what year you're watching this video because I'm making it in 2021. But if there are no sound demos available to you in the description, then I probably move them to a private server where I can do whatever the fuck I feel like with sound demos. It's just hidden lightly behind a paywall. Um, God damn it. I'm putting this back together. Patreon subscribe star. See reviews early. Or see reviews early, participate in yard sales, and get lost of sound demos or the audio from the loss of sound demos. Because that was another thing is I could just do sound demos with just audio. And there wouldn't be a... I could just upload them to Telegram and be done with it. Because you really don't need the visual aspect. You just have to give you an extra wallpaper to make you feel better. Yeah, and I'll leave the back on. Devilman Cryberry is still a thing. Theme from Devilman Cryberry. Those videos. Right back. They're so nice. They're just so nice. Anyway, yeah. Patreon subscribe starts. See reviews early. Participate in yard sales. Uh, access to sound demos. Probably, maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I'm still on the cusp of like if that's needed. I gotta go see how many more emails I got today. It was I saw my phone and I went ah. Um, for ten dollars a month, you get in the behind the scenes private Telegram chat where anything you want to ask me can be answered immediately, along with uh, asking the entire community. That's nice. There's a bunch of great people there. Um, Hi-Fi guides and the Hi-Fi guides forum exist. If you want to check those places out for an actual forum experience, if you're more of a former than a redditor or anything else. Um, I no longer have the streamer links thing in the description because apparently that guy is like, hey, we hit a million users, yay! I don't want to pay for this anymore, and I don't know how to do it, so I'm just going to not. I'm like, start a Patreon, you idiot. I'll pay you $2 a month to have streamerlinks.com work. Why are people dumb? He just doesn't want to do it. He, I can tell what it is. He's like, yeah, we did the thing, and I'm just not going to refresh it because I don't think I can do it. I mean, we'll pay you. We'll pay for the ser the server costs. You have a million views. That means if 1% pay a, a donation, you'll pay for it. Anyway, wallpaper, links, uh, yard sales, reviews, $10 chats, um, discords, telegrams, IRCs, dancing with wolves, and I'll see you in two days, and sound demos maybe if they're still around. Good? Good. Good.